All right, y'all, hey, I wanted to do a second filming all about purees. I got a lot of new ideas, and I know those of us that are post-op VSG and on pureed foods, there's only so many things you can think of, and you get tired of eating the same thing over and over and over, and we can only have such a little bit. We want it to be really flavorful, or at least I do. So I did a video last week, and I'll pop that up here, but I'm going to do another one and show you some of my ideas of what I'm prepping for me for this week that hopefully will be helpful and some good ideas for y'all. Shrink. Let's do some meal prepping. We're going to start with some chicken salad. I'm going to make it in my food processor and make it more of a pureed consistency, but you could make this exact same thing and just stir it and not put it through the food processor 100%. So I'm going to do a can of chicken. I've got some Fahe 0% yogurt. I'm going to use half of this. Six ounces, I'm going to use three ounces, and then I'll save the other for something else. And I'm going to use some mayonnaise. This is Thrive Market Brands mayonnaise. It's a coconut oil-based mayonnaise. I have not tried it before, so we're going to check it out. If I can open it. Ugh, there we go. And this is just 1.2 ounces of mayonnaise. And I am going to make this with just salt and pepper to start with and a little bit of celery. And then I'm going to divide it and make a couple different flavors. We're just going to kind of puree this up and see what consistency is. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Kind of pull down the sides here. All right, I'm just putting a little bit of celery in, and I'm gonna do a little bit of grated onion. I am out of onion, so gonna use some chopped onion, just a little bit, just a little bit for flavor. And we're gonna zap this up to get it pureed. I'm just gonna use these Pyrex cups, and I'm just gonna divide this in half. Those of us are on a puree diet, it's a lot of the same stuff and you get tired of it. We can use spices to make the exact same things taste so, so different. So, I'm going to make this chicken salad a couple ways today and then next time I might make it a completely different way. Italian seasonings would be good in this. Today I'm going to stick with kind of the classic lemon dill and a curry. Alright, I'm going to take my sweet curry. This is from Penzi's. It's just curry. It has turmeric, coriander, cumin, fenugreek, ginger, nutmeg, fennel, cinnamon, white pepper, cloves, cardamom, black and red pepper. Oh my god, it smells good. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna, again, no exact measurements on this. You spice things how you like them. It smells so good. So here's what this one's looking like. Got the pretty little bit of yellowy orange color from the curry. Good. All right, let me get a separate spoon here and we are going to make a lemon dill. I forgot to buy fresh lemons, which I'm kicking myself for, but I think I have some lemon pepper seasoning, so I'm gonna use that. So there's some dill. Oh, here we go. All right, we're gonna add some lemon pepper. I think I like this one better than the curry, but they're both they're both quite good. Another thing that I sometimes add to my chicken salad is little diced up dill pickles, which would be again really good in here. But since we're doing purees, I skipped that. Although if I had pureed the little pi pickles in here, it probably would have been okay. Maybe I might try that next time. So I have these and I'm going to put them into two ounce cups. That's a perfect serving size for those of us post-op BSG. So I like to go ahead and pre-measure them and then put them in the fridge and then I have them. These little two ounce containers, I got, I don't know, hundreds of them. 
let's see, 250 of them. And I, everything I make, meal prepping, everything I prep, I put in these two ounce containers pretty much. I also have four ounce glass containers. The, bad, the drawback to these two ounce containers is you don't wanna use them to heat things up. So if you're gonna eat something hot, you need to transfer it from this to heat it up. Whereas my four ounce ball, contain, ball jar containers, I can cook in them, I can heat up in them. They go in the fridge, the oven, the freezer. Those are awesome. But right now I am only eating two ounces at a time, so I'm liking these. Also, some people like to drink out of these so they know every 15 minutes to have at least this much. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna use these little two ounce cups. Then I'm gonna put the chicken salad in these cups so that I know how much I'm eating. Three lemon pepper dill and three curries. Next thing we're gonna do is our buffalo chicken dip. I make this all the time for my family. Usually I just do it by hand and kind of mash the chicken up. I'm going to puree it this time so that I can have it on my pureed diet also. This is maybe my favorite pureed recipe to share. I love buffalo chicken dip. So two cans of chicken. And obviously if you are eating purees and you're gonna be eating it only yourself, you probably wanna cut this in half, but I'm making it for me and for my family. This is just as good pureed versus chunk, just as good hot versus cold. It is awesome. So two cans of chicken. You could also do this with tuna if you wanted to. I'm not a tuna fan, but you totally could. Half a cup of sour cream. Half a cup of hot sauce. Whatever hot sauce you like. I like to use this Frank's Red Hot. A packet of ranch dip, ranch seasoning. This Frank's Red Hot, this particular one, the brand Frank's Red Hot ranch dip seasoning mix, I've just discovered it recently and it is a game changer for buffalo dip, y'all. Like, I'm serious. Like, find it. They had it at two different grocery stores, Publix and Lowe's here locally, so... It is extra spicy though, so if you're not really into spice or your new tummy isn't liking spice, you can just do any kind of ranch. One ranch packet or a tablespoon or so of ranch seasoning. But I'm going to use this. It's not too spicy for my belly at all. I had some last week and it was great. Then we're going to add a stick of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now. I'm using the third less fat. You can use fat free here if you want to. Here we go. If you love blue cheese, you can totally add some blue cheese to this too. My whole family is not a blue cheese lover, so we add blue cheese last, those of us that want it. What I'm gonna do is make a few two ounces for me and then I'll put the rest in a container for my family. I am gonna add the cheese and then puree it one more time. About half a cup of cheese. So I'm just gonna pulse this one more time. Get my handy dandy little scale out. Zero it out. And then add two ounce portions. I'm actually putting one and a half ounces in this one because if I fill it any fuller, it's gonna be hard to put a top on. So one and a half ounces is what these little guys hold. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so my favorite. It smells so good, it is so good. And Making it as a dip to take to a party is something you could totally do and have something you could eat. All right, we are now going to make some spinach dip, organic frozen spinach. So we're gonna make my famous spinach dip. This is something I always break out at Christmas time. I make it hot. It's a dip that everybody loves. And it's something that I already puree so that it's um, all an even texture. So this will be perfect purees. For me, my family can have it as dip. I may even like stuff it inside some chicken for my family. There's so much stuff that you can do with this. But the first step is getting out all of this liquid. I'm just gonna do it over a bowl so you can see. I usually do it over the sink, but you wanna get a clean kitchen towel and a bowl. I usually, like I said, if it's over the sink, you don't need the bowl. And I just plop my spinach right inside. You want it, obviously to be thawed. If it's still frozen, it won't really work right for this because you really want to get as much moisture out as possible. So you put your spinach in your clean hand towel and I promise this is gonna, this is gonna wash out. It washes out. It's gonna kind of leave a green stain on your hand towel, but it's okay. It's gonna wash out. 
and you just twist. I don't know if you can see that, but it's getting liquid into this bowl. And you just twist back and forth. You just want to get as much out as you can. Then I'm just going to plop it right into my food processor. So just unwind it. It's kind of in a ball at this point. I'm going to drop in my can of artichokes. You want the non-marinated, just plain. You can get frozen, you can get canned, whatever. This is just artichoke hearts. So a can of this. Truthfully, I usually double this. I don't know why I didn't get double the ingredients today. I totally should have. So put that in there and I'm gonna give it a little blend before I add anything else. Just a little bit to get it going. All right, now I'm gonna add one cup of mozzarella cheese. This is my ranch. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my ranch seasoning. I'm cutting down right now on the fat in this recipe just a little bit. So I'm using yogurt in place of part of my ingredients for this. Usually I use full fat sour cream and full fat mayo. So I'm gonna use yogurt instead of the sour cream. I think it'll turn out just as well. Here's my mayonnaise. It's about a fourth a cup of each of those. And then we're gonna add our cream cheese. I'm gonna start with half a block of cream cheese. This is the a third fat cream cheese I was telling you about. I'm gonna start with half of that and then we'll see how much we need. Like I said, I usually make this recipe a lot bigger. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Parmesan cheese directly in here and then the rest will go on top to bake it because this is definitely best hot. Let's see. All right, I'm doing half a cup of the Parmesan cheese right in this. Now we're just gonna blend this baby up. I usually pulse it. And when it gets to how I want it, I'm gonna taste it and see if we need to make any adjustments. One thing I'm thinking of with this, because I'm making this not just for me, but for my family also, I am not gonna add any protein powder. When I serve it to me, I will probably add a scoop of Gene Pro or half, half a scoop to a scoop per serving when I heat it up so that I will get that extra bit of protein. Or if you wanted to, you could add shredded chicken straight to this and that would give you protein. So just a couple ideas. A little bit on the finger here. That is so freaking good, y'all. I haven't made this since last Christmas. Oh my gosh, that's good. Yum. I'm not gonna add anything. I think it's perfect. So I'm, I'm only using half of this cream cheese. If you're getting ready to go to a party, you could totally heat it up, put the, put the rest of the Parmesan on top, heat it up in the oven at 350 until it's nice and warm and bubbly, and then serve it. I'm just gonna put it in a container in the refrigerator and we'll, end of it, we'll heat it up individually as we eat it. I think that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas. I hope you try it. If you do, tag me on Instagram or leave me a message on YouTube that you're gonna try it. I'd love to see y'all's creations too or y'all's ideas for puree. And as, as I have more, I'll probably make another puree video because I just think there's not that much out there that I could find of ideas on purees. So I just really want to share those with everybody. Hope y'all are having a really happy, happy holiday, happy December. Love y'all. See you soon.